A couple other cool power features you could do with Claude is add custom hooks and custom slash commands. And the coolest part is you can have Claude build those for you. In this case, I asked for Claude to add a couple default hooks, commands, and settings and created a settings file that I can easily edit. It added a Claude MD, which gives a bit of project overview and some key commands that it should know about. And it added some hooks for what code should run before edits are accepted, such as run prettier on a specific file or after edits, like run a type check on a specific file. Another really cool one you could do is add custom slash commands. To add commands, just add a dot Claude slash commands folder. Add its name and then dot MD. You just write these in natural language and you can use this arguments string to place an arguments into the prompt. And the cloud will do exactly what you asked just by typing slash and whatever it is. Another cool one is we can use the pound sign and add memory super fast. Like always use MUI components for new stuff. And then it'll automatically save that to the most relevant file. You could also save this to global user memory, preferences you want to apply everywhere or local project memory. That's memory specific to you and gets get ignored. Add it to any of these files and then it'll write it for you. Now the main problem I sometimes feel and I see people point out the most is sometimes you really just want a normal UI. It is kind of annoying that typing out long responses have these weird escape keys. I can't just click on what I want to edit and highlight and edit. It's still very clear you're working with a terminal and that comes with some inherent limitations. For those times where you want a UI or you prefer a UI interface, but you still want the mechanics of Claude code, one trick is to use the builder.io VS Code cursor windsurf extension. At any point you can just launch into a visual UI from your IDE sidebar. What you'll get is a much more visual interface with the typical chat dynamics that you're used to and a live preview. And under the hood, we built the system to match almost exactly how Claude code works. This tool uses effectively the same agent and approach as Claude code down to the tiniest details. We reverse engineered it as closely as humanly possible. And then you can preview your changes quickly. Like I actually just moved items from here to right here. Perfect. And what's kind of cool is at any time we can switch to design mode and we get a Figma style interface where we can change up any of the styling we want and edit it just like a design tool. It's kind of a cool way to bridge the worlds of visual editing and code and get a bit of the best of them both at the same time. We can explore different UI patterns quickly and make precision edits and then just apply our changes to the code. You can do all this stuff from a browser interface too, which can be really cool for letting people on your team create prototypes right with your design systems and applications. And then when you're happy with your changes and you're ready, you can just fire off a pull request. Here's our PR with the title and description. We can look what files changed. Looks like it's using our design system correctly as hoped. And I can leave a comment anywhere and say, hey, build a bot, move this to be in its own component in a new file. In this world now, we're effectively just communicating with Claude code, but through the PR directly. The agent will then reply and push up commits addressing the feedback. And here we go, the builder bot addressed the feedback 